pop quiz time. Question number one. Who is the first ever angler to catch a fish in a BASS tournament? Question number two. What did he catch it on? Well, the angler was Mr. Bill Dance, and the reason that we know that he caught the first ever fish in a BASS tournament is A, he was fishing in the first ever BASS tournament, but B, Bill was notorious for fishing very close to the boat dock, and on this particular tournament, he launched, he started fishing right across the way from everyone else, and basically while every other boat was still up on plane, Bill hooked his first fish. Now the question, and there's been some debate about what he caught it on. We did some research, and as far as we can tell, this is the bait, the seven and a half inch flip tail worm. Welcome to Retro Bassin. This week we're back in my old hometown in Severna Park, Maryland, doing some trespassing with my little brother who is somewhere around the lake right now. And of course, we're gonna be fishing with some vintage tackle and the old flip tail worm. Stick around. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, had a hit. All right, just had our first hit, stop number one. Fishing with the old school vintage flip tail worm in the seven and a half inch. I did not expect to see a little fish there. This pond, it's super muddy. I saw in fish brain that there's fish in here but it looks super muddy right now, and I just wasn't on my game. Oh, that sucked. That was, that was a nice little hit, man. Oh! Kind of... I don't know if this pond is big enough for more than two fish. I just had two strikes, <sighs> missed them both. Well, that about wraps us up for spot number one. Had two strikes, missed them both. We're on to greener pastures, I hope. So now we're off to stop number two on our trespassing tour. We struck out at the first spot. I got two little hits and I swung and missed on both of them. Uh, I gave Alex, I think, the shitty worm, so you didn't catch anything. Um, we got another spot, another community over. These are weird little community ponds that honestly I've never fished before. I feel like they're like in the back end of this community. Uh, the one we just saw had a little fountain in it, which is kind of cool. Supposedly some fish in there, but I, again, I could not see anything other than turtles and the two that I, I missed. Next spot is up here, we'll see what happens. I mentioned we're doing a little trespassing, and we are. We just pulled into another spot, but there's an old timer who's kind of giving us the eye. We're gonna hang out in the car for a minute and see if he, uh, he walks past. Looks like a little community pond here. There's definitely some fish sightings on the internet, so I'm hopeful if we can get in there uh, without getting kicked out, we're gonna catch fish. But such is the life of a uh, trespasser. Just gotta wait it out. Thank you. What's that? We good? All right. So we just got kicked out of spot number two before we actually got a line in the water. So the guy doing his lawn, he didn't want us trespassing, did he? No ah, oh, we're on private property. So, so that was like our second spot of two. So now we're gonna have to get back online and try to figure something out. Uh, I had a feeling he was gonna kick us out though. Didn't I, it? Didn't look good. He just we pulled a couple tactical errors uh, as usual on this channel. We did a sort of an untimely U-turn right in front of him and really got good eyes on us. 
and ever since then we were on his radar and he was kind of scoping us out. So looked like a fishy spot, but um, not for us. So we were looking for Buck's Pond. Is that in Buck's here? Pond? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, how do we get there? How do you get there? Well, it's a right on the paved path, left on the uh, unpaved path. Unpaved, that thing is are there any fish in there? I'm told that there are. I can't swear because no one in 15 years has come back and said they caught something or they didn't catch something. Well, we'll come back. All right, bud. Uh, they all say that. <laughs> That's, that's uh, where it is. All right, thank you. That made no sense. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> you take the one mile road, the two mile road, you turn on the one mile road, and then when you get there, you, I don't, just don't think he wants us to find it. We finally arrived at, at Buck's Pond, but I don't know the water to weeds quotient before it stops being a pond and starts being a field. I feel like Buck's is, maybe it's Buck's field at this point. It's our best shot. We walked about a mile to get back here. We we're gonna fish. We we're gonna try to catch something, something with the flip tail worm. Honestly, this looks pretty good, man. Now that I'm fishing it. Well, kids, we are uh, running out of time here. <sighs> we had like a, uh, a few, I think, uh, three or four hours to fish today. We spent the first hour and a half, two hours messing around with this one lake, which ultimately we were not able to fish. We crashed one uh, bass dressing pond. We got kicked out of the second, and now we're on the third. It looks about as fishy as any water I've seen today, but minus uh, the, the, the fish. Well, good morning, we're back. Yesterday we struck out at literally every place we tried to go fishing. This morning I drove over the Bay Bridge over to the Eastern Shore and I'm fishing a couple of ponds on Kent Island that I've always wanted to fish. Right behind me is one of them. I've got to get back to Texas today. I've got to leave Maryland, but we've got a few short hours this morning uh, to do a little fishing. I've got three ponds to hit over here and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Fish busting, okay. This is the spot. Uh oh. This is heartbreaking. This is this is painful. This is so painful. I don't know what my deal is. I really don't. Oh man. So so hard. <laughs> this is supposed to be fun. Oh man. Okay, okay, it's a fish. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm hooked up. Oh, I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. After all that, I've got a little bass on the end of my line. Wow, I did not not know if that was going to happen. There he is. <laughs> 
Uh, now I know the reason I was having such a hard time getting these guys to bite. It was the fact that the worm is as long as the fish. And also that I suck as a fisherman sometimes. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Okay, awesome. Well, I feel like we, uh, we got one on anyway, so let's go get some more. See you, little buddy. <sighs> Man, I've never been so excited about an eight inch fish in my life. I gotta tell you. Oh, wow. Oh, there's another one. There's another fish. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's another one. The rain was just starting to pick up here and I was worried that I'm gonna have to call it pretty soon. I went with a little he heavier worm, cast in the middle of the lake, and got another fish. Oh, nice. What's up, buddy? Come on in here. Oh, how are you doing today? Mr. Bass Jr. <laughs> Ah, uh, sweet little fish. Awesome. So I got him on a color that I had custom made from John at Flip Tail. I saw an old bass book that Bill Dance wrote back in the day, and they had a ton of just straight up translucent colors. Bill said his favorite lure colors for worms were blue, green, red, black, and brown. You don't see greens like this anymore. Nice little fish. All right, buddy. See ya. Well, that might be it. Got about an hour and a half in on this little lake here. Caught two little fish on the flip tail worm, which is pretty cool. After the trials and tribulations, we had uh, trespassing all around the state uh, yesterday. Unfortunately, about an hour into my day here, this happened. The rain. I've been in the car for about 15 minutes now. I got my gear in here as quick as I could. But so far, I don't see anything's, uh, anything changing. If the skies don't open up, then I gotta get back, get packed up, get on a plane, and I will see you back in Texas. And just like that, we're back in Texas. Now let's talk about 1967. Ray Scott was conducting his first ever BASS tournament. It was on Beaver Lake in Arkansas, and one of the competitors was a young guy by the name of Bill Dance. Now, as soon as he launched, Bill ran across the cove to a sunken roadbed, which was still in sight of the marina. There he cast out this lure, a seven and a half inch blue flip tail worm. As soon as the worm hit the bottom, a two and a half pound bass jumped on it, he hooked it, and so was the first ever catch in a BASS tournament. So here's one of the books that inspired me into my vintage worm journey. There he is by the man himself, Mr. Bill Dance. Check this out. There's a young Bill on the cover. Coolest thing about this book is look at those worms. Those are colors that you do not see today at all. Just the translucents, the yellows, the greens. Pretty sweet stuff. Now let's talk about this, the flip tail worm. In the early 60s, this was one of the hottest worms on the market. It's essentially a straight tail worm with a flat tail, reminiscent of a jelly worm. Like so many lures of that era, the flip tail faded out of use, and by 1990, it was no longer in production. Along came a gentleman by the name of Orby Party, and he actually purchased the molds for the flip tail lures and began reproducing them. Today, Orby's son John still sells flip tails, and I'll even make custom colors for you, which is pretty cool. Fish in my old hometown got me sort of nostalgic, and when I got back to Texas, I dug through the old photo album and found some of my earliest trespassing photos. Here's a picture of me out on Buckskin Lake. A nice little bass. That's the actual paddle boat that I did most of my fishing in as a kid. Here's another nice one. Check out that hair. 
I don't know what's sweeter about this picture, the jean shorts or the mullet. And of course, my little brother. There he is on the Severn River with a nice little white perch. Well, that about wraps up our episode of Retro Bassin. If you like what you saw today, subscribe, click that bell icon, and check out one of my other videos below. Until next time, I hope that you fish it old school.